Alright. I'm JQ. TQ. Q Brothers. Francois. Francois. <laughs> We're back. Continuing on our journey through Jovoy fragrances. Gardez-moi. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Is that right? Or how did you say it? Pardon uh, me? I won't look at you in the eyes when I say tell you that. It's please keep me. Uh, please keep me. This is a uh, guard, yeah. guard me. Uh, guard me. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a begging from a lover. Yeah. You have to imagine that uh, Jovoy originally was created in the Roaring Twenties, okay. and it was okay. a supplier to the um, how do you call that in English? Uh, the nieces of the gentleman. Do you get that? The what? Ah, <laughs> the nieces of the gentleman, the mistresses. Ah, the mistresses. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I remember reading this when we first started talking about carrying your line. I remember reading this was like this was the line that you gave to the mistress, right? There you go. Alors, this is absolutely a tribute to the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that you say that. Yeah. Uh, to the gardenia yeah, of the twenties, yeah. but du chauffeur. So um, Bertrand, my man. Yeah, okay. I'm a huge fan of his. And <laughs> everything he does. I, I didn't. Mouth. You know, when we were yeah. first getting to know fragrance, I didn't know anything about who the noses were or anything. And uh, wow. I, I picked out like two or three of my favorite fragrances and realized they were all, I remember telling Jose about this, that they were all Bertrand de Chauffeur, de Chauffeur. And so I don't know him. I'm hoping my, one of my dreams is that he'll come sit with us here someday. I don't know what kind of guy he is if he would do that. But okay. if you're out there, Bertrand, if anyone knows him, please send him our way. Uh, he would receive royal treatment, <laughs> just like Francois. Oh, yes, actually, they, they, they have a restaurant nearby with strawberry pie. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> No, Bertrand, uh, to be honest, uh, I was um, a little bit like you in the beginning. I was expecting to know it's such a myth, it's such a great nose, maybe one of the top five that I have ever met in my life. And I was expecting a diva. Mm -hmm. No. That's this is cool. a guy, with awesome. a, this is the, the smartest, nicest person. Uh, he doesn't like to be under the spotlight. This is why you don't see him often. But he's one of the sweetest person in Well, if he can handle the glare of this large spotlight of sitting on our couch, <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's pretty, pretty blinding. It's, it's, but <laughs> this is beautiful. This is, beautiful. And this is just gorgeous. Uh, I mean, it's truly. It's a, it's the fact that I don't already have this at home. Yeah. 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 I, have a, I have a story about this perfume because uh, uh, Please Keep Me is uh, Gardez Moi, Gardenia, it's a Gardenia. <laughs> Gardenia. Little rhyming. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and Gardenia is very emblematic of the Parisian, let's say. Mm. And uh, in the 20s, you had um, uh, several women. You had uh, the French Concord dancer, the casino, the casino, the, the my, my goodness, I'm forgetting my, uh, my English, um, the cabaret. And, and uh, I was hesitating a lot to work either on a tuberose or a Gardenia. And again, because ah. it's, it's both emblematic mm -hmm. to two different uh, women at that time. Yeah. Uh, together with um, maybe the, the, the garçon, the woman who cut the hair. I don't sure. Know if there is an English word for that. Um, tuberose, I would like to, to, to share that with you because uh, in our stores, in your yeah. store and my store, people always, always ask us how should I wear a perfume, uh, where should I spray my mm. perfume? And I have an answer from the French Kenken dancer of the Roaring Twenties. Okay, nice! They were putting perfume, you know, here, 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 wherever. <laughs> Where, okay, you the folds, the folds. Wherever they wanted to be explored. So every time great. someone yeah. asked me, how should I wear a perfume? Wherever you want but to be explored. <laughs> wow. That's, see, this is That's great. You know, I was putting <laughs> the, I, there was an oil based fragrance I was wearing for a while, and uh, I was putting it on, and I put it a little bit in my beard, yeah. and I put a little bit in my hair right here. And my wife said, Why do you always put it there? I didn't have an answer except, but now I can say, <laughs> That's where I want to be explored. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's great. That's a great answer. What is this one? Uh, the Art of War. The Art of War. Uh, so, uh, say in French, for us. L'Art de la Guerre. L'Art de la Guerre. Sun Tzu. Uh, Sun Tzu. Yes, yeah. exactly. The Chinese philosopher. 
um, which is still being uh, uh, read. You, you read it. Oh, it's uh, like a business uh, book. It's a business classic. Do you think? It's a business classic. It's a it's military a classic. classic. Yeah. It's a life classic, and uh, it's all about uh, all the tricks and tips uh, you should use if you want to make your enemy or your target, let's say, surrender yeah. without fighting. Yeah. So if you put that in love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ultimate this is, yeah, this, this is a serious weapon, huh? This is very serious weapon. <laughs> and here, ah. uh, here it's interesting again because we've been cheating a lot. We've been using our best ally uh, when we talk about perfume, olfactive memory, your memory. Yeah. So here, uh, in my store, a lot of women are coming and asking masculine perfume, typically masculine uh -huh. perfume. Yeah, yeah. I want to wear, and they don't know how to explain and why. Yeah. Maybe the memory of the father shave in the morning, after shave, and then goodbyes. Or a hug and then it leaves on them or whatever. And they have this me that memory. Or maybe a first kiss, <coughs> maybe, I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. And <coughs> maybe. And, and here... Ex-boyfriend's t-shirt. Videographer Jose, right? Ex-boyfriend's <laughs> shirt. Ex-boyfriend's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and here, uh, there is a very emblematic family of, uh, of perfume called Fougère, Fern. Sure. And Fern is a clean, handsome guy who had a show. It's, it's not pejorative. Yeah. So we've been, uh, Vanina Mohachiol, I've been working uh, on, the, on the, this fern, which is typically masculine, mm. for women. But being worn by men. Yeah, but I say there's a lot of men this wear this, so, and I, yeah. so we've sold it to men. This is, is, a, is, is the perfect uh, unisex, I, I guess. Iliad. <laughs> you just went for it. Yeah, yeah, the problem is that uh, I'm a little bit addicted to this perfume. Right? <laughs> I don't, I don't blame you. This is, um, this has, yeah, this, this is. Every time I think I find the masculine heart. You were about to make a bad joke. You were this. It's also a spring where you want to be explored. Is it? <laughs> I was about to explore. I was just about to go explore. <laughs> no, but there's. I was going to say. I keep on thinking I find the masculine sort of hook, and then it, and then it kind of bounces yeah. back to being. Like, you know, like my. I'm. There's it, just, it is unisex because it doesn't really ever let me dig into the masculine part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Uh, a, as a purely masculine fragrance, it's great. No, yeah, every time you think it's warm, it's, it's going, warm. Every every time time it goes, we haven't talked much about it because it's such a good story. Every time it goes but, sporty, there's something powdery that brings you back to the feminine side of it. You know, that's nice. I like it. I don't blame you. This is great. I'm very happy I met this uh, young, promising perfumer. She, she made uh, maybe, I think it was her first perfume, with, she signed the first fragrance with us. And now we see that she's been uh, working on several uh, perfumes. I'm very, very happy. She is very visionary. That's yeah. great. And how can you say no when you meet her anyway? You have to check uh, how she is. <laughs> yeah. She's, uh, wow, she's very an amazing, sweet person. Nice. Awesome. awesome. Well, it's, it's, it's alluring. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both of those. I mean, this is, I want to say the Garden Wild, like, ah, I'm bringing that home. Yeah. Well, that is, I'm a, I, the, the airy floral, Light, fresh, beautiful, it's just gorgeous, you know? I know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say next time. We're going to finish him off in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>